Do I have it now? Do you hear me? I do hear you. I do hear you. Do you hear me? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you see me? Yes, absolutely. How are you, Doug? All right, I'm good. I'm good, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you again. I, I, I told my um, I told everyone here that we talked a little bit after the show last night, which happens occasionally. I, I not all the time, but I sometimes leave the chat uh, the uh, Zoom window open. So if anybody wanted to come on late and talk about something offline, I am available. <clears throat> so what's uh, what's new and exciting in your world, Doug? Well, I uh, I guess this is part of introducing myself to the to the group and uh, opening up a, a topic that I'm uh, interested in. I'm uh, working on a new YouTube channel. I've actually been working on it for quite some time, and it's gone through a few different evolutions. And I, I, it just became very obvious that I need to hook up with some other YouTubers and do some of this collaboration stuff. And that's all where I, a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, so I guess now, are you still hearing me? Because I'm not oh, yeah. hearing you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just not saying anything. I'm, you I'm have, just getting used to this. Yeah, you have the floor, my friend. <laughs> well, I, I'm out here in uh, California, and uh, so. I'm a computer consultant. I've been self-employed since 1992. And as up to date, I haven't done really anything with the internet in regards to my business. I do all of my work with local clients. Uh -huh. So I've been wanting to get it, uh, involved with YouTube or the internet somehow as a, as a revenue aspect for my business. So what became apparent to me that this is a good opportunity for now is the Windows 7 uh, end of life coming up. So what I'm gearing up for is to be able to help people with their upgrade to Windows 10 online, which means I will connect to their computers remotely mm -hmm. and uh, take them through that whole process. Cool. I don't see that. I don't see that being done on the internet. All the places that I find for advice about upgrading to Windows 10, it's it's kind of really surface mm -hmm. information, and there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And so I'd like to be able to help people through that as a way to uh, give them a higher <clears throat> chance of success, and so if they don't have to pay somebody to do it. That, that, is, um, that is a worthwhile venture. And uh, well, let me ask you this, Doug. Does the uh, does the new channel exist yet? Just yet? Well, y yes and no. I've been I've uploaded quite a lot of videos just under my personal channel, and it's th that's been a learning experience. The main thing that I was accomplishing there is to get the experience of working with the equipment to do live streams. Mm -hmm. So it's funny that they're uh, a lot of them are, are live streams. Yeah, you've got the there it is right there. Thumbnails there, but the fun. Th can you see? Can you see the number of views? Because a lot of them have zero views. Sure. And I've gained zero uh, subscribers for it, and I'm not asking for people to go and do that. Actually, I do not want people to go um, like and subscribe and that stuff with those. <laughs> um, so what, what? What I did is I, I wound up getting very sloppy with those in the sense that since I was still working out how I was going to do it, mm -hmm. I have some of those videos. And if you want to, you, people can go in and watch them. I don't really care. But it, it'll be funny because at some point I, I start talking to myself. I say, okay, well, I messed up that last five minutes. I'm going to edit that out. And so the people are never going to see that part. And then I never wound up editing it out because <laughs> well, there was zero people watching it anyway. <laughs> so... It, it would be kind of funny in that regard, but welcome to my when, world. <laughs> when I go, yeah, when I go live with the channel, it'll actually be a different channel name. I've already created a um, brand channel, but that uh, has nothing on it yet, and I've got a banner being made for it, and I have somebody else do the thumbnails because my thumbnails weren't very good, but. What I wound up realizing is that really the reason why I didn't get any attention on it um, is that nobody's searching that subject matter. So when I look at, I have VidIQ subscriptions. So when I look at 
Windows 10 upgrade as a search element, it's just really has no traffic. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So as I've been thinking this through and, and working out why it became pretty apparent to me, and here's the way that I can describe it is to show a comparable, I tried searching YouTube for how do I prepare income tax? How do I prepare my income tax? Mm -hmm. As he wrote, search. Yeah. Really? Nobody's searching for that. They don't want to do that. The people that still have Windows 7, they have Windows 7 because they didn't want to upgrade to Windows 10. Right, right. They're avoiding that. They're still avoiding that. There are statistics that's published about how many Windows 7 computers are still out there. And it was just a month or two ago that Windows 10 finally surpassed Windows 7. So that means they're just close to half and half right now. And they're growing at about 2% per month, I think if the number was. I haven't looked at it for a while. Uh -huh. And it's not hitting much on the news. But as this date comes closer, it's going to be... I, I think it's going to gain more attention. So the way for me to uh, publicize what I'm doing is to get on to other content creators. Creators, You know, there's a lot of tech channels out there that uh, do collaborations, and that's an area that I feel really uh, weak in. How do I even contact these people? Yeah. You are my first collaboration attempt. Yes. I call this a collaboration. It and, is a collaboration. Uh, uh, technically yeah. speaking, it is absolutely a collaboration. And and that's really just because once I started watching some of your show, I just really felt a whole lot more comfortable with it than I do with the other uh, tech channels because they're kind of high powered by comparison to me. And you. Uh, this sounds uh, self-deprecating, de but uh, yeah, the expectations are low. <laughs> <laughs> And I, well, and I don't mean that in the bad way. I mean, it's it's more of a relaxed thing, right? Because I, I don't expect anything out of uh, anyone that comes on the show. Just just a, a nice chat or to hear whatever they, they want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I really like about it. And, and actually, I have some questions for the audience. And I'm trying to figure out how I can have the actual this, this uh, Zoom window visible and be able to see the chat window well you should be able to uh, maybe go half and half if you're only using one monitor and then just make sure make sure the uh, oh, yeah make okay, sure the YouTube it. yeah make sure the YouTube uh, videos is, is uh, muted uh, uh, yeah it is <clears throat> yeah so I, I'd like to ask the audience a couple of questions ask uh, away and did you have a uh, slow chat on right now or, or will no it's standard ahead? Pardon? Yeah, it's standard speed. I didn't. I didn't slow it down okay, at all. Great. great. Um, okay. So, uh, first question for the audience is for everybody to respond to. Just uh, what operating system are you currently using? Just type in Windows Seven, Windows Ten, or whatever else you might have, or Apple, whatever you are. I kind of like to get a feel just of uh, kind of a random, unscientific. Sampling. There's a seven, ten, ten, Mac Pro. I guess I don't know if that's Windows Seven Pro or Windows Ten Pro. On the Mac <laughs> Ten, Mac OS, iPhone, new laptop Ten, Mac OS. All right. So not a whole lot of Windows Seven there, and uh, Windows Seven Pro. No, but well, funny. My my wife's company, which uh, I've. Um... I've, I've done a lot of IT work for. In fact, yeah. I'm, I'm getting ready to install a whole bunch of RAM in their, uh, in a lot of their workstations. They're all running uh, Windows 7. Oh, okay. I, I honestly well, think that your market might be uh, closer to that than the consumer market because, you know, Windows is, is pushing uh, 10. They've been pushing 10 for a long time now. So most of those people yeah. are already upgraded. Um, or the computers that they had seven on are so old that they bought new computers and they, you know, naturally came over 10. Uh, sure. But businesses are not as quick to adapt as we all know. <laughs> well, yes. And, and my channel would be for businesses too yeah. and for technicians. Yep. Yep. Uh, 
Uh, and this is actually going to be starting my channel after the Windows 10 upgrade season is over. Mm -hmm. Then I plan to move on to other uh, Windows support topics. Mm. Um, for, for instance, uh, uh, there's a lot of people out there, in fact, pretty much all of my clients, users need training on how to protect themselves when they're browsing on the internet. Um, there's very generalized comments out, out there about don't go to dodgy websites. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, people understand how easy it is to get to uh, a place that can cause your computer problem because they don't look like bad sites. Right. Uh, there's a lot of uh, scams going on with emails these days. So oh, how to yeah. recognize uh, scam emails because they're very convincing. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Just ask some of the uh, other YouTubers who have lit literally sent their username and password to uh, some of those scams and right. uh, had their channel shut down because of it. Yep. Right. Just did a show on that oh. uh, a couple weeks ago, as a matter of fact. Let me get to uh, a, a piece here that, that's kind of relevant to uh, perhaps uh, one or two of your uh, viewers, is I do need to uh, find uh, one or two people that I can actually go through this process as kind of a dress rehearsal. Mm -hmm. So which means I wanna find somebody that has a Windows 7 computer that wants me to help them with that. And what would happen is we would be uh, live streaming that. I'm not sure if that'll be to my personal channel or to the new brand channel, probably to the brand channel. And it would actually become my first uh, one to perform that way. I've performed lots of Windows 10 upgrades. Um, so I, I'm interested to find out if there's anybody in your uh, viewing audience that wants to wave their hand up and say, yeah, I'd like to do that. <laughs> I hope that will happen tonight. Uh, maybe it'll come out in the in the future days. Let's see. So I see there's a Doug Betts hat thing in the chat. What does that say? You providing Win 10 keys. Oh, well, okay, if you're not aware of this already, if you have Windows 7 on your computer, you do not need a Windows 10 key. It is a free upgrade, although Microsoft will not admit it. Oh, so wow. They have a company policy against admitting that the Windows 10 upgrade is free. They've, in news interviews and on their website and all uh, forms and methods, anytime they're asked about can I get the Windows 10 upgrade for free? The response is the free uh, period for the Windows 10 upgrade ended on, I think it was April something in 2016. And they won't say anything more than that. And in fact, on one of their web pages today, I saw that they, uh, a, next, a follow up question said, you can purchase the license. And that's true, you can. You can purchase the mm -hmm. license. And that promotional period where they had it free for one year, it did expire at that time, but the system still works. <laughs> and every technician that deals with this knows that you can perform the Windows 10 upgrade and you have a completely valid activated license. Even if you wind up needing to replace the hard drive, you can install Windows 10 from scratch and it will activate. So you do not need to buy a license for it. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of misinformation out there. And I've even seen some tech-oriented news <clears throat> sites that report it wrong. Mm. They follow journalistic procedure. They contact Microsoft and say, hey, can we still get, can people still get Windows 10 upgrade free? And Microsoft says, no. That, well, they don't say no. Right. But be careful about that. They do not. They will not say no. They respond to that question like a politician. They just respond with what they want to say. They don't respond directly to the question. They'll say uh, the, the promotional period for the free Windows 10 upgrade ended on such and such a date. And it did officially end on that date. But the upgrade still works. <laughs> well, well, Doug, if, uh, if they want to get a hold of you, do you have a, uh, an email address that you may want to put on your about page? Cause it's always behind sure. a captcha uh, that way. Sure. Yeah. That way they could actually email you anyone who's either in the chat or somebody who might watch this show later and, or the guest cut when I make it a guest cut, 
uh, they'd be able to contact you and perhaps uh, you guys could work out something on that uh, um, kind of a proof of concept is what we're talking about. Yeah, you, you know, when I hear something that maybe I'll take a piece of advice from you, Jim. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm a fairly adventurous guy in, in this in the sense of putting my identity out there. As you see, my name is Doug. My name is Doug Betts everywhere mm-hmm. uh, in my dealings. And um, there's, I know there are bad actors out there, and I'm just contemplating whether I feel comfortable actually just saying my email address now. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable with your audience. Well, is it something? Is it something so benign as a Gmail address, even even though it's your first name or your uh, full name, like the buts at Gmail? Or, I, I mean, you don't have to answer that question. That That's leading. Uh... Let's do it this way. You know what? Here, let's do it this way. I need to find out. I need to test the waters here. So I think I'm going to test it with, with, with your audience. I'm going to give you my real uh, email address that I conduct business under. Well, you could, you we could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Or you could create a um, just a, a throwaway Gmail address if you'd be more comfortable with that. I could. Yeah. All right, let's let's do this way. Here's an address that ex, that are, I do have. I just don't monitor it, but I'll monitor it in the next few days. There you go. And that way, I'll I'll see if there's if there's troubles on that email address, and that'll give me some guidance. On that. Right. Okay. Right. So that email address, uh, can I just speak it out? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. In fact, uh... okay. So that is, the, um, I guess I can type it. I don't know. Doug Betts Pilot. So that's D O U G, B is in Bravo. E T T S pilot P I L O T at yahoo.com. I'm also typing that in the chat. Let's see how that goes. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, an email address typed in chats, but there we go. Doug Bats Pilot. Did I get it right? Yeah, I see it. And I see mine the my name portion is highlighted. I guess that because it recognizes me as a yeah. <laughs> participant yeah and there's looks like there's a space between vets and pilot and of course the email address wouldn't be that so it's it, it's pilot yes it's, it's not that way for anyone else just just for you just for me yeah I'm yeah sure. everybody else everyone else is seeing it as a, a all one word doug Betts pilot uh, at yahoo.com okay. yeah so, so you, then if you somebody's to, interested in doing that they might want to go check out um those videos that i do have posted just to understand that they are not really um of public not for public consumption <laughs> yeah not not really but you will get an idea of my my setup i've got a pretty nice setup i use log me and rescue i've been with them for i don't know 15 20 years mm. um we've well, already got one that's uh um uh kind of putting it off because he's he's really um busy but bearded tech guy says uh if you can't find anyone in the next few weeks reach out to me i can help out he's just super busy right now all right all right that was bearded tech guy yeah all right awesome still got to get him up on the show <laughs> yeah so he's sounding a little bit uh he he sounded a little bit um like he'd like to help but he is, is busy so if there's yeah. someone else that doesn't yep. feel that way that'd be fine awesome. um awesome. and we'll see where this goes fantastic doug well uh when you when you actually launch that launch that channel uh by all means come back on man we can talk more about it Oh, I think I'll be on more than more often than that because I kind of need to get more comfortable with interacting. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's good to good to have you on, Doug, for the first time, right. and, and with all that great information, I'm I'm sure you'll be able to help somebody out, and and I'm more than willing to let you come on and and get as comfortable as you want to on camera. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you. All right, bud. Have a good evening. We'll uh, we'll talk right. to you soon. Catch you later, Jim. Thank you. You know, you too could be a guest on this show at any time. We're live every weeknight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All you've got to do is hit that subscription button and ring that bell right now. Oh, and while you're at it, why not share this video? I'm sure my guests would appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you live.